Greetings, salutations, and all around, how the hell are you? And welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We are going to litness to listen, will witness, litness. We're going to witness. We are going to listen to the witness account from Mr. Sot, who is totally the murderer in this situation. We're going to get to the bottom of this, hopefully in this episode. If not, well, we're just going to... I don't know. I was going door to door selling subscriptions, but I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it strange, I look inside the apartment. He actually has a very well written account here. Almost as if he's lying! Then I saw her lying there. A woman, not moving, dead! I crawled! Quailed? Quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remembered the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Okay. Hmm. The way this game works is that we listen to this and then we dissect it pretty much Sentence for sentence, or block of text for block of text. <clears throat> Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why was the Incidentally, why was the phone of the victim's apartment working? At the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sot used was one of those phones. Your Honor. I have record of the blackout for your per 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 for your perusal. Perusal. That's a new word. Blackout record added. Woo! Now, Mr. Wright. Yes, er, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross examination. Water time. Cross examination, Your Honor. All right, right. <laughs> this is it, real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why you expose the lies in the testimony the witness just gave? Lies? What? He was lying. Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied during your testimony. Our client is really guilty. Exclamation point! How do I prove he is not? You hold the key, it's in the evidence. Compare the evidence to the witness's testimony and the, the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find the contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you found the contradicting evidence, press on it and rub it in the witness's face. Kinky. <laughs> um, okay. So remember to press the witness with the mute button. Or by waving the Wii remote. Yeah, you could actually just go, OBJECTION! Pretty much. Check your facts again with the plus button to check out the park. My turn, asshole. I was going to door to door with a bada 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 bada. Saw a man fleeing the apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. I think it was strange. I looked inside the apartment. So I like them moving dead, blah, 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 blah. I just want to get to the thought to call the police. However, the phone wasn't working. Over the phone, I remember the time exactly. All right. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. Cause of death. Time of death. 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. All right. And what was 6 p.m.? Ha 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 Yeah! You found the body at 1 p.m., you sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain! Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death sometime after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, er, no body to find at 1 p.m. How do you explain this three-hour gap? <laughs> Exclamation points! Oh, that! Oh, uh, uh. Here it comes. This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. 
Mr. Sart, why are you so certain that the body was found at 1 p.m.? I, uh, well, I, gee, that's a really good question. Good job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Find out the contradictions. Lies always begin more lies. See, they're one and their whole story falls apart. That's actually a very good life lesson as well, kids. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? And here we go, the revised testimony. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but there was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Gonna get him again with the blackout report. Hmm, I see. You heard a voice saying the time on a taped program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right, you know what to do. I got this one. Uh. I heard the time. Boobadoo, there was a voice probably coming from the television. And we're going to blackout report. Hold it right there. Sorry, hold it right there. Prosecution has said that there was a blackout at the time of the discovery, and this record proves it. <laughs> you couldn't have heard the television or a video. Yeah! I will. Ugh. The defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sart? No, I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. Uh, ah! Wait! I remember now, Mr. Sart. The court would prefer to hear accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. That and you'd rather seem distraught. That and you seem rather distraught. Ah, my apologies, Your Honor. That <laughs> must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sart. Yes. Very well. I can sense your fear. He has that face. <laughs> Let's hear your testimony once more, please, and then you can give me the greatest of BJs. Actually, I didn't hear it. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yes, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. You saw a clock? I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Gladly. Uh, actually, I didn't say I saw it. There was a table. It wasn't there. Uh, yeah, the murder weapon. And I'm going to look. Wait, just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock, it was a statue. Now this is supposed to be a clock. How is this supposed to be a clock? Wah! You with your objections and your evidence! Just who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Saw. Hey, I, I saw it there, okay? It's, that's the clock! Yeah, your honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness testimony correct. It was a clock. Do you have any problem with the testimony? Uh, yeah. Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon as a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Oh, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he... went into the apartment! You're lying. You went inside the you went inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh yeah, prove it! Prove I was in there! I'll do better than that. I could prove you were the one who killed her. You struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. 
That was the sound you heard! <laughs> it's very intense courtroom drama. <laughs> Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Ryan. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Sot, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandably, since the murder weapon just spoke as he hit the victim, that voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about it all the time. What's the meaning of this? This is all a baseless conjecture. Baseless. Just look at the witness's face. <laughs> Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, uh, that's okay. I never, that, that day, I never looked at the clock. No, I heard a thought, dude. <laughs> I hate you. It was him, I tell you. I saw him. He killed his bird to death. Give him death. Your Honor, a moment, please. Is there isn't a shred of evidence to supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright, Your Honor, you claim the sound of the witness came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? Uh... Let's sound the clock and hear in the court, Your Honor. I may have a clock. Ask the court to listen very carefully. Listen carefully! Beep. That's certainly a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Page, tell the time it is now. It's 11.25. Ack! Three hours. Oh, yeah! Mr. Sot, try to tuck your way out of this one. <laughs> you forgot one thing. Well, it may seem the clock is running three hours slow. It proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow the day of the murder? If you could prove that, you don't have a case. <laughs> He's right. Damn it. So close. Come save me, Mia! Mia! I skipped ahead. I mean, Chief, listen up. Right, don't throw this one away! Not like this thing! But Chief, it's over. I can't... Uh, blah, blah, blah. I have to basically present the... The freaking... Yeah, yeah, okay, come on. Yeah. Reason it easy. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I can prove it. Yep. Well, Mr. Wright, say the close of your course. There you go. Da 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 <clears throat> yep, all this good stuff. Proof enough for you, Mr. Sot. Or should I say, Mr. Did It. <laughs> and now the Phoenix Wright freak out. Boom. That's how you put away a murderer, kids. I swear this is just water. Order, order, I say. So basically, we just won the tutorial episode. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, let me know if you want me to continue this stuff. Uh, if not, you can tell me. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you want to see episode two and all that. Um, I know this is kind of a visual novel type of thing, so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but in the meantime, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, yeah, hopefully to be continued.